Hi, I'm Stacey. And I'm Ollie. And you're watching our Top, top 50, 50 Love, love songs. songs. Next up is one of my favourite videos. That makes Stacey <laughs> extremely... It doesn't, it doesn't. Gooey and lovable, apparently. It's so enjoy true. this one. And the next song on the list, which I actually don't think this is a love song, but Stacey picked it. Extremely mistaken. One of the best love songs of all time, I think, by one of the best bands ever, written in 1995, an iconic year as Ollie started school. I started school that year, <laughs> but it's Oasis Wonderwall, which I don't think is really a love song. Everyone knows this song and loves this song. It's a great song, don't get me Today wrong. Today is gonna be the day. You're watching Ollie and Stacey's Top 50 Love Songs. We've decided to get a little lovey-dovey on you and introduce some of the favourite love songs of all time. So join us in a couple of minutes to find out what's on next on Cupid's List. The battle is Hi, I'm Stacey. And I'm Ollie. And we're doing one of our favourite things in life, eating chocolates and sipping pink champagne. And listening to some of the top quality music. So sit back with us, think of that special someone, and get a little loved up. Woo woo! Hi, I'm Stacey, and he's Ollie, and this is our top 50 love songs. And up next, we have no other than JLS with the best song I think everybody in love. I'm not going out of Aston <laughs> to crush any rumours. They are the nicest guys, and this is, I think, a great love song. So make sure at home, everybody put your hands up. <laughs> Loser. Cozy up and enjoy this next one. <laughs> hey, I'm Ollie. And I'm Stacey, and we're on our way to discovering which song scores first with Cupid's Arrow as we introduce some of our favourite love songs. Find out in a couple <laughs> of minutes. <laughs> Give it one of us. Next is one of my favourite artists and one of my favourite songs as well, actually. It always makes me feel good when I'm singing along to it in my room. It's Neo with Miss Independent. It does. She got her own thing. I think it's because it's you, Stace, Miss Independent. No, it's not. No? She's pretty. Did you not when think that Neo might have read that song about you? What's, what's the lyrics in it when she walks away and he turns around and she's just beautiful or something? It yeah, may be doing right about uh, you. But anyway, this one is Miss Independent by Neo. This song is one that I have chosen. I think it's one of the most beautiful love songs that's ever written. Um, it's a huge song that's been massive across the world and it's done by the Google Dolls and it's called Iris. Hey, we're Ollie and Stacey and you're watching five hours of the most romantic music videos in the world. Join us back here in a few minutes where we get in the mood for Some love. love. Hopefully Ollie's gone by then. <laughs> <laughs> as Stacey's incapable of doing it. It's all... Four. One. Called... Called, I swear. <laughs> have a chocolate. Oh, thank you very much. What about yourself? I spat on that. What about having this one? I think I'll pass. It's time for a break from the music, so cuddle up under the duvet, but remember to pop back in a few minutes, or you may have just missed out on your favourite little smoocher. <laughs> Sorry about that, if you can't understand what Stacey's saying, we'll put subtitles on the screen for you. But anyway, <laughs> hi, this is Ollie. <laughs> this is Ollie, and that's... Stop pointing at me, like, I don't know how to say I'm Stacey, and then you introduce me. Okay, this is Ollie. It's really hard, you know. And Stacey, and then if you, you haven't already and heard. And this is our top 50 love songs. Why can't you say our? <laughs> okay, our top 50 love songs. Track is another take that smash, and I'm gonna let Stacey introduce this one because she actually sung this on the show. The next song is Take That, Rule the World. We can roll the world by James Blunt. This song was definitely not written for Stacey. Um, this one's called You're Beautiful. I'm beautiful on the inside. Yeah. I don't but care what people say. Do you like this one? I used to. Have you sung it to anyone before? No. Perhaps. If I did, it wouldn't be you. She sings herself in the mirror. You're beautiful. Yes, it's true. We're not all like you. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> so this one is James Blunt and uh, you're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> We've got Take That Again. They've taken over the old top 50 love songs this year. And it is Back For Good. This one is Luther Vandross and Mariah Carey singing Endless Love. What a classic. <laughs> you ever danced this one with any, any men? <laughs> Whatever. So am I. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. What we have for you on this chart is Alicia Keys with Dun, 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 ah, and in case you still don't know what the song is, I'll introduce it for you, Falling. I, know. Oh, I just like that, bit when, I like the bit when the backing vocals come in. <laughs> I'm like, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. That's the best bit. <laughs> we did do very well with that version. But anyway, <laughs> this is Falling by Alicia Keys. Next up is Aerosmith with I Don't Wanna Miss A Thing. One of the favourite bits in this song that I like is the angry bit at the end. <laughs> I don't wanna close my eyes. That's not the angry bit. Yeah, but I just like it. And I don't wanna fall! What about if we start it? What about if we yeah. start what about if we start it for the viewers? I could wait a week. Just to hear. One of the most iconic love songs in, in the world and Ollie doesn't even know the words. <laughs> Oh, I, I do. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just feel really nervous about singing it. I just wanted some help from you, but you don't want to sing. I mimed on the show. <laughs> we mimed on the X Factor. We didn't really sing. As you can see, people, Stacey is hogging the chocolates. But I'm a happier person for it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the smile on my face. <laughs> so whilst I wrestle the chocolates back, this is Bleeding Love by the no chance. A woman with chocolates. <laughs> We're about to introduce is Brian Adams, everything I do, I do it for you. And we've just found out that Stacey was, yes, two years old when this song came out in 1991. And so, Ollie was nine. <laughs> no, I wasn't actually, I was seven when this came out. Before we end up having a fight, it, this song is Brian Adams, everything I do, I do it for you. And I'm so glad that Ollie's brain was here today to, to tell us that song. Next up, we've got a classic, which was a uh, earlier ruin this year by a song on the X Factor. It is Angels. A classic, beautiful, and lovely Robbie Williams. Singing Angels. Angels. How lovely it is when he sings it on his horn. <laughs> Stacey. And I'm Ollie. And we're getting closer to the number, number one. one. Woo! Woo! And our next one is. Enrique Iglesias, Hero. Hero, and this song was huge, absolutely huge. And um, I actually remember singing this on karaoke when I was, what, I don't know, 18, 19. You're looking at me like I know. And I sung it in Spanish. I only met you last year. I know, but I you sung, sung it in it Spanish. You sang it in Spanish, no you didn't. No, I didn't, I can't speak Spanish, but I pretended to, so Show it's like. Show me how. Mi jefa, mi mi No, you're not being sick, but. That is the weirdest but, form of Spanish I've ever heard in my life. I know, because it was a joke, Stace. You could have said hola or something. Woohoo! Woo! We're, We're at number, number one. one! And who better to celebrate number one but with our very own special guest artist, Cupid. Finally, I've been separated from Stacey for the, this whole show. By a beautiful Thank golden man who could sort out my life forever. <laughs> but we are at number one. And there's only one song that we could put for number one, and that is by Whitney Houston. Originally by Dolly Parton. Written in 1973. And it's a great song, and it's I Will Always Love You. Attached to a great film, by the way. <laughs> Everyone loves a bit of The Bodyguard. <laughs> I see myself as like a Kevin Costner. Yeah, right, I don't. I think that's all we've got time for. I hope you've enjoyed being with us on Cloud9. Woohoo! Hope you loved it. See you later. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for having us.